lit, we turn and we back with another video, man. I said we is back for another video. And today, man, we reacting to rappers who are, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can read the title of y'all damn selves. Now, we already know that literally all the higher ups are on this fruity, foo foo boy, spaghetti boy ass shit. But now, this is just a video just talking more about the individuals that are on that shit. Like I keep on saying, hey, I ain't got nothing against a homosexual nigga. But there's an agenda that they want to make niggas sus. So I got to speak on it. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. We getting into this video, man. It's a welcoming place for members mm. of the LGBT community. All right, right. But it looks yeah, like right. things are starting to change. Right. Kanye West was the first artist to really speak out publicly against homophobia and rap. Mm. Telling fellow rappers and audiences, just stop it, fam. Seriously, mm. that's really discrimination. Mm -hmm. The rise of queer hip hop and several artists coming out in the last few years has made the rap community more accepting of those who identify as LGBT. Word, word, word. So just which rappers have come out as gay? Let's have a look. Word. Frank Ocean. Yeah, that nigga July Frank 4th, Ocean, bro. That nigga Frank Ocean. For 2012, been on that shit. rapper Frank Ocean on that published shit. an open letter on Tumblr talking about his first love when he was 19 years old. Mm. Fans were surprised to read that the target of his love was another young man. At the end of the letter, Damn. he said, I don't know what happens now, and that's all right. I don't have any secrets I need kept anymore. I feel like a free man. He's come a long way from when he first realized he was gay as a child. He said in an essay in 2016 that he first experienced homophobia from his father. That statement got him in some hot water when his dad mm. sued him for defamation a year later, seeking millions of dollars as payback. That's crazy. The channel Orange Artist didn't let that bring him down, though. He won that suit and has continued to put out new music. In April of 2019, he even admitted that he has been in a long-term relationship. And look how they got this nigga wearing makeup and shit, bro. That's why I keep on saying, bro, there's a difference when a nigga's like, man, I just came out. And then there's a difference when niggas are doing type shit like that now. Now they just really just trying to push an agenda and make niggas really think in a certain type of manner. And y'all niggas got to start seeing this shit. shit. <laughs> Leaf. Leaf I started out as a producer guy. in Brooklyn. But eventually got into rapping nigga. when he released his debut mixtape, Dark York, in 2012. Oh, Growing up in New York, he was exposed to unique music, fashion, and people, and he studied ballet at the Dance Theater of Harlem. He luckily grew up surrounded by communities that were welcoming to him when he came out as gay. Hmm. After his debut tape was released, he kept putting out music consistently and was even featured on songs with other LGBT artists like Mickey Blanco. But the, the rapper fuck? really started making headlines when there was some beef between him and fellow artist Macklemore. Not only did he claim that Macklemore ripped off the beat from what, but he also accused him of being a fake ally to the LGBT community. Leaf called Macklemore's song Same Love inappropriate exploitation of LGBT issues for his financial gain. He spoke out saying, gay people don't care about your video about gay people, and Leaf knows what he's talking about. He's one of the most commercially successful gay rappers to hit the studio. That's crazy. Taylor Bennett. I never Taylor heard of Bennett that may have too. started off being known as Chance the Rapper's little brother, but at age 24, he's already starting to make a name for himself. Damn. He took inspiration from artists like Twista, Nas, and Kendrick Lamar, and worked hard to build his own fan base and not rely on his older brother for the promotion of his work. He surprised fans a bit on January 18, 2017, when he tweeted about his sexuality just days before his 21st birthday. He said, moving into next year, I'd like to be more open about myself to help others that struggle with the same issues. Mm. I would like to openly come out to my fans. I do recognize myself as a bisexual male and do and have always openly supported the gay community and will keep- Yeah, bro, they just, ain't nothing wrong, bro. But there's an agenda. That's all I'm gonna say again. Doing so in 2017. <laughs> Chance showed nothing but support for his brother, announcing mm -hmm. he's got God and me behind him. He could not fail. Word. I love McConan. The 31-year-old Atlanta-based rapper rose to fame when his song Tuesday was remixed by hip-hop powerhouse Drake. His entrance to the industry was a strange series of events. Mm. The rapper started putting out songs on the MySpace, met Adele there, interviewed Soulja Boy, got out on house arrest, and enrolled in cosmetology school before getting with the producer to start oh, yeah. putting out serious you music. You know that nigga was I Love McConan sauce. was already a star in the and business. And yo, a, nigga, a straight nigga could go into a cosmetology school and shit. There ain't nothing wrong with that, but 
out as you know gay what I'm saying? on his official Twitter you know what I'm account saying? on January 20th, 2017, <laughs> just two days after Taylor Bennett. The mm. tweet read, as a fashion icon, I can't tell you about everybody's closet. I can only tell you about mine. And it's time I've come out. Mm. And since y'all love breaking news, here's some old news to break. I'm gay. Mm. And now that I've told you about my life, maybe you can go live yours. That's crazy. Zebra Cats. Like ballet dancing rapper Leaf. Zebra yeah, Cats yeah. I don't also- even know most of these niggas. And I don't, I'm don't. i going to stop the video right here because I don't even know most of these niggas. But anyways, like I said, there's an agenda behind this. There's nothing wrong with you being on that type of timing. Because, hey, I'm not I'm not here to judge nobody. Hey, you got, everybody can do whatever they want to do. But I'm telling y'all, they they trying to like like the videos I dropped recently about the shit that like Disney and the Nickelodeon one, where they where we we go into like the shit that really like you watch as kid it gets into your mind and it has you acting out like how you're gonna act out like later on in life because you've been programmed into your subconscious, right? KK. Hold up, that's my sister calling me. We we know we keep these videos raw. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's really that crazy like that. It's really crazy like that. It's crazy like that. It's crazy like that. It's crazy like that. But anyways, but anyways, but anyways, like I was saying, it's when they just talk about all that shit. And yeah. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I just took some edibles right out. These shit just smacked me. They smacked but anyways, yeah, there's definitely a fuck, bro. It goes way deeper than what people think. And everybody should express themselves, you know? Do y'all, but I just want y'all to know it's deeper than the rap. Anyways, like, come subscribe. I hope all of y'all have an amazing day. Be yourselves. Have fun. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, boy. <laughs>